My brothers and sisters, our psalm response, I think, perhaps has given us the, the most prayed words that we use all the time. Lord, be my help. How often do we, does that come to our lips? How often are we praying that because we need the Lord's assistance, we need the direction of the Lord? How often, in maybe perhaps daily in different activities, that we were searching and, and needing the guidance and the direction of the Lord. And so perhaps these words are the most frequent words of our prayer. You are my help and my deliverer, O oh my God. Do not hold back. Make firm my steps. Yes, we all want to know that the Lord is there backing us up, holding us, making firm our steps that we take with conviction and with the knowledge that God is with us. Dear friends, all of today's readings remind us that embracing the will of God is rarely easy for anyone, especially maybe for those who try to be most loyal to him. On the contrary, we learn from the Old Testament passage that we heard how the prophet Jeremiah was thrown into a muddy pit to die, all because powerful people did not want to hear him call and accuse them of idolatry and rejection of God's will. Yes, that responsorial psalm is the prayer, especially for today throughout the, the scriptures that that we have for this liturgy. Prayers that have give voice to how we are so grateful in our relationship with the Lord. I have waited for the Lord and he stooped towards me. The Lord heard my cry and drew me from the pit of destruction and he made firm my steps. Though I am afflicted and poor, Yet the Lord thinks of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Oh my God, hold not back. Yes, that's the Lord, personally attentive, stooping towards us in our need. The Lord hears our cry and, 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 and draws us out of the perhaps the situations that, that we're in, making firm our steps and in the trust that we place in him. And it, it's a beautiful relationship because we, again, are thankful that the Lord thinks of us. The Lord knows us. He thinks of us how he can help and be our deliverer. Oh my God, hold not back. And yet in the gospel of Luke today that we hear today, that the message of Jesus redeeming love will cause great division between those who believe in him and those who do not. Even among those we love and respect, he says that there is going to be discord. And in the letter to the Hebrews that we heard, all of us who have faith in Christ and attempt to live according to his way are encouraged to stand firm. We are reminded, since we are surrounded here by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and the perfecter of faith. We have the cr a crowd of witnesses around us, people of faith as right here, gathered in the Lord's presence. And we together support each other with our attention, our eyes fixed on the Lord Jesus, for he is leading us and guiding us. My friends, as Christians, we need to do whatever is necessary to turn away from temptations that draw us away from God 
And we are to keep a single-minded pursuit of the Lord and his plans for us by trusting, by trusting in him and in his mercy. And that, my friends, is the way that we grow, that we mature in our faith and in our love. He will show us the way. He will show us the way to share our faith and how to love others. It's hard to accept the pain and the difficulties that we sometimes experience along the way, but we need to aim, nevertheless, we need to aim for the joy, the glory to which the Lord is seeking to lead us, the glory of God the Father. Let us then ask the Lord Jesus Christ to help us so that, that we do not grow weary and do not lose heart, but rather let us ask the Lord to increase our faith in him. And with the Lord's help, we can emulate his own fidelity to God in the loving relationship of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. My friends, only on last Sunday, we heard Jesus say to us that we should desire our treasure which is in heaven and not on the earth. That's where our hearts are to be. The God of life and love holds little attraction for those who always focus in on themselves and on earthly matters. And in today's gospel, we hear Jesus say to his disciples and to us, I have come to set the earth on fire and how I wish that it were already blazing. My brothers and sisters, this is a fire that makes things bright. Jesus is that light that has come into the world, one with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Only in him can we find our salvation. But first and foremost, we are called to choose Christ, Following in his ways is how he, that he will show us the way to God, our Father. My dear friends, this morning, in the light of these scriptures, uh, we, we decided to, to ask someone to speak about the witness of the light of Christ in, in their own lives, especially as they became members of our, our parish community through the RCIA, and perhaps a preparation for confirmation. And so this morning, I'm very happy to invite uh, Gary Weaver to, to share about his journey in the light of Christ. <laughs> 